September 7th, 10 a.m., District Court Def or Courtroom Number 1. Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about all play games that today we're going to be playing, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and did a lot of stuff. We went and talked to Maya's lawyer who didn't want to defend her for some secret reason that we'll probably eventually find out about. And then also, we decided that we were going to be Maya's lawyer because of some backstory stuff that we'll also also get into later. We also learned that prosecutor Miles Edgeworth is on the case who hasn't lost a case in four years since he was 20 years old. And so now we're going to try to defend, defend Maya Faye, and yeah, let's see how this goes. The court's now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Faye. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I'd better not show any signs of weakness today or he'll be on top of me in an instant. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. I wonder what kind of voice I should do for him because, like, his objection is British. So it's like, objection, but I can't do a British accent, so... I wonder if I should just do, like, a very calm and serious voice, like, Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder, and we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin, then. You may call your first witness. The prosecution calls Chief Officer- Wait. Okay. I think they gave the judge's line to Edgeworth, because he was just like, you may call your first witness to the stand, and then he answered himself. The prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. So yeah, Gumshoe's back, which is great because he's the best character, or at least my favorite character. But it sucks because now I have to do his voice. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir, my name's Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of the homicides down at the precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe. Please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map to, of the office to explain. The body was found by this window here. And the cause of death? Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was the statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir. So yeah, this game was written in 2001, so it's got some stuff that hasn't aged well. The court accepts the statue as evidence. They're still calling it a statue. Now, detective. Y yes sir You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes sir! I had evidence she did it, sir! Hmm, Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Maya Faye's arrest. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Faye, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Faye. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Faye at the moment of the moita. Hmm. The very moment, you say. Very well, Mr. Wright. Re very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examine what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Hey, Maya just threw something at me. What's this? When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. <laughs> I guess I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. Alright, let's give this a try. Something the matter? No, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross-examination. So yeah, we're just going to be pressing through this. Who did you say you got a call from? Hey pal, don't play dumb, you know who. The call was from a customer at the Gatewater Hotel right across the, from the crime scene. Hmm, okay. I pressed. Not sure it did much, though. Right, please continue. There were two people there already. Whoop. 
Detective Gumshoe, how long would you say it took between you receiving the call and your arrival at the scene of the crime? Hmm, right. I'd say it was about three minutes. That's pretty fast. Our motto this month is quick response. That's how I got there before the killer got away. Indeed. So, tell us who the two people you found at the scene were. Yes, sir! Defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Are you absolutely sure it was us? Listen, pal, your dumb act will only get you so far. With her funky hippie clothes and your spiky hair, you two stand out like, like suspicious people at a crime scene. Well, he does have a point about her. She is pretty unmistakable. I should pick my points to press with a little more care. So, pressing doesn't actually net you any, like, it doesn't take away any exclamation marks, which are your health, as you can see up in the top right. But sometimes, in cases that are really bad, like there's one in the next game, where pressing wrong statements takes away your health, which is really dumb, and they don't ever do it again, at least not from what I remember. Uh, so, if you're playing this, don't worry about, like, pecking perfect points to press, not out of a lot of alliteration. Why's that? What's your reason? Why? We had a witness to account describing her. Hold on just one second. Y yeah If I heard that correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? Did, did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. Exactly, what about the suspicious woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence? What? Miss May isn't suspicious, and she sure isn't Pink, pal. Well, I guess she is Pink. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than a claims detective? Um... Hmm, I guess pressing can have its advantages. Yes. Gah. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There's something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. I'm trying to be a bit louder because when going through editing, my voice was very, very quiet, except for when I was doing, like, Detective Gumshoe's voice and stuff like that. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. How you like that? That's my hard evidence. Sorry if the voice changes a bit. I'm trying to go with like a raspiness. Like not really raspiness, but like that sort of feeling for his voice. And sort of like a New York, like Brooklyn sort of guy. But also like a lovable, like pal, you know, for lack of a better term. Before we begin the cross-examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Your Honor, why didn't you test about that final piece of evidence the first time? Ah, uh, I, I know, I'm real embarrassed. I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Very well, the defense may begin its cross-examination. Hard evidence. After securing the sus- Okay, I already read that stuff, so I'll just... And did you find any evidence? Now, now, don't jump the gun on me, pal. Just listen, I'm getting to the good part. I got a bad feeling about this. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. Just because you found it next to the body doesn't mean the victim wrote it. Oh, then who did write it, smarty pants? Who? Um... I did it. I was the one who wrote the... Uh... The killer. The, the killer. Anyone can see that. Oh, you're saying the killer wrote her own name? Buddy, please. She was framed. Hold on. If that's the case, where's your evidence? Uh... Ugh. Huh, I guess that was a bit of a tall order for you. Those without evidence shouldn't open their mouths, Mr. Wright. Yeah, pal. Ah. 
Well, detective, tell, tell us what was written in that memo you found. I'll get used to Edward's voice. Maya was written clearly in blood. Do you have proof it was Mia who wrote that? Of course I do, Pearl! Uh-oh, he sounded pretty confident. This might not be good. Lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. What kind of tests were these again? Huh? What kind? Um, well, I guess they take the, um, little bits in the blood, and then the, uh, hemo... hemo... the hermo... goblins... hobgob... uh... hermo... goblin... bobbin... I, I refuse to testify on this matter, sir. I'm no expert on blood tests. Yes, that was quite clear. You may continue with your testimony. Th thanks, pal. I mean, your honor, sir. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah. I think you can expect a pleasant bonus in your next paycheck. Oh, 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 ho, ho. That was a mess. Right, where was I? Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Well, I did not. I keep meaning to press it, but I press A instead. On which hand was the blade finger, detective? The right hand! Hmm, she was right handed. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice try! Uh oh, I guess it wasn't too hard to see what I was getting at there. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name! Detective Gumshoe, do you get a lot of cases where the victim actually writes the killer's name? Sure, it happens all the time in books and movies. This isn't a movie, detective. Let's talk about reality, shall we? Um, I guess I haven't heard of many cases, no. Don't you find it a little odd that the victim would write down a name? Especially the name of her own sister? Ah, uh, yeah, actually, you got a point, pal. Stop right there. The witness's opinion on the matter is irrelevant. The, fact are, the facts are clear. The victim wrote down the name of the accused. The victim told us the name of her killer. Order, order. That didn't go so well. Th that's right, what he said! Okay, sorry about that, uh, just got a phone call. Once we get past Detective Gumshoe's testimony, that's his whole testimony. Okay, there has to be a contradiction in there somewhere. Let's find it. So the autopsy here actually states that death was instantaneous. However, Detective Gumshoe states that before she died, she wrote down the killer's name. So how could she die and then write down the killer's name? Detective Gumshoe, there's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Mia Fey, wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant, Mia Fey? That's really what you're saying. Well, what This is one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course you wrote it! Who else could've? You have it backwards, Detective. But backwards The victim is the only person who could've absolutely not written it. This is a report from your department, Detective. Immediate death due to, blow f due, a d due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. But! No butting your way out of this one, Detective. Order, order. The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have any time to write anything down. Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? When? It was the day after the murder. Prosecution's point being... That autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. What? A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object, but there was a, but there's a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. No way! Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. That is all. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. I should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? I'm a sham! Detective Gumshoe, are you calling me a fool because I believed your report? Huh? Me? I I'm not... Huh? Detective Gumshoe. 
I'm disappointed in you, handing him the wrong report like that. Eh, I... I'm sorry, your sir. You are at fault, detective. This isn't going to look good on your evaluation next month. What? 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 Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Understood. The court accepts the evidence. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. Darn, this isn't good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. And so next time, we're going to go ahead and see who that witness is. It's, it's, you, you know who it is. And I hate that I'm going to have to do their, their voice their lines uh but yeah we got introduced to two memes in this uh in this one episode there's the autopsy report is outdated that's a big meme in the fandom and also uh detective gumshoe constantly getting his salary cut he didn't explicitly state it here but later on like over and over he's gonna get his salary cut but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and hear the witness testimony of the next person to come up to the stand. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!